हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टेलिंग यू अबाउट ए जे क्यूरी प्लग इन विच इज़ देयर विच इज़ कॉल्ड एज डेटा टेबल सो इट इज़ ए एडवांस्ड टेबल प्लग इन सो इन दिस यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज़ अ डेमो दैट आई विल शो हेयर सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डिस्प्ले ए टेबल इन योर जावा स्क्रिप्ट एप्लीकेशन यू कैन जस्ट इफ यू हैव ए लॉट ऑफ टैबुल और डेटा डेट यू वॉन्ट टू डिस्प्ले यू कैन जस्ट मेक यूज ऑफ दिस प्लग इन सो various kind of functionality is built in in this plugin here you can see that you can just paginate your tab tabular data if you want to you can see that you can even search for a specific record here there is a searching functionality also given here let me just search for a record you can see that if i write here bre so it will be searching for the record which has a name called as brendan here you can see that so this is a searching functionality and you can also just display a specific number of entries so you can see that you can just select from this drop down if i wanted to display only 25 entries uh, per page i can just uh, just select here from the drop down so various kind of functionality are built in with this plugin here so you need not have to make any kind of uh, php write any additional php code or mysql queries so in order to just use this plugin uh, you just need to go to google here and uh, the name of the plugin is uh, data tables so just write here data tables and uh, the official website is uh, datatables.net so if you go to its website here it has a great documentation so if you want to implement this in your own application you will find this very easy so first of all i will just grab all the tabular data so just go to view page source and inside this first of all i will delete all the code from here and start from clean slate so this is my index.html page here and right now inside this view page source you just need to copy this tabular data so you can just copy paste this html code here so just control c and now you just need to go to a this website which is minifyitcode.com so to just make your html code uh, uh, great in syntax so just paste all this code here so let me just uh, open this website so just go to google and search for this plugin which is minify beautify html so just search this query on google and the very first th website which comes in just just click it and copy paste your html code here so click on the beautify html button so it will align your code according to the syntax so now you can just copy paste this html code for the table and just create a simple html file so write give it a title of uh, jquery data table so inside this in the body you just need to copy paste the html code that you have copied from the site so this will be rendering out this table here so now if i refresh the application you will see a table so we just need to implement our data table plugin so now i will go back to first of all import jquery also because this plugin requires jquery so just write here jquery cdn and go to w3schools.com and grab the cdn so make it just a new script tag just after the body copy paste the cdn of jquery and now we will be uh, grabbing the the library code of data table so just go to data table site here and grab the cdn for css and javascript so you can just go to google directly 
and type here data tables dot net cdn so just type this query and it will be redirecting you to the site that is cdn dot data tables dot net so here on this site you can just grab the cdn first of all i will include the css so right here right here at the top you can just make a link tag in the head so this will be style sheet and in the href attribute you can just copy paste the link here so this is the css and now we just need to also copy the javascript link so just after you have imported the jquery after you make a new script tag so inside the source attribute just copy paste the link so now we have successfully imported the library both the css and javascript now we just need to make a simple script tag in order to initialize the plugin so as you have noticed that in our html code we have given an id to the table so you can see that we have given a id to the table which is example you can just change this id to my table let's suppose and now we can just select this table by its id in jquery so we just need to write dollar in parentheses we can just uniquely identify the table by its id which is give the id name which is my table and here we can just invoke a simple function which is uh, the library function which is data table so it will be initializing the plugin on this table that's it you need to call this function data table and now if i refresh the application you will see that this simple table will have all the functionality you can see that you can select entries from the drop down how many records you want to display you can even search for a record by its name if i search for a so all the records which have the name a will display and the pagination system is also built in so thanks very much guys for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much